Hey guys, welcome back. You just saw some videos. I was playing games, Android games on Raspberry Pi 5. Pretty fast, amazing. So I want to show you how to do that. Now, anyways, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shehab. And today I'm going to show you how to turn your Raspberry Pi 5 into a powerful, portable Android gaming console. Here's what we are going to do today. We're going to download Android 15 and run on Raspberry Pi 5. This is with me. And next, since Google Play Store does not come with Android 15, I'll show you how to install the Aurora Store. Uh, Aurora Store is an open source alternative to the Play Store. And the best part, will do this remotely using ADB tools and SSH. ADB tools are Android developing platform tools and I'm going to install those tools to Windows 11 very easy and without ever removing the SD card from the Raspberry Pi 5, I'm going to do it remotely. Before you jump, I'm going to show you quickly what we're going to do. Now, I already installed everything in here so you can see in my Raspberry Pi system in the desktop, you can see all the games in here. Go to the settings and you can see the about tablet. This is Raspberry Pi 5 and the model Raspberry Pi 5 and Android version is Android 15. So you have idea. This is Android 15 running top of the Raspberry Pi 5. The Aurora store. So once you click here, you can install any application you want. And look at the, all the applications there, Reddit, Netflix, X, anything, and the games. You can install any games you want. Now, the best part is you don't have to log in as a Gmail or any email address because this is Animus. So you can see Animus Gmail. So once you install this app, you don't have to log in with your ad email address. It's automatically logging as you anymore. So you are privacy is protected. You can install anything you want. So let's jump in and I'm going to show you step by step. Okay, now I'm in the constakang.com. You can see HTTPS constakang.com. I'm going to put the links on my description field so you don't click anything else. And go to the device tag device and go to the Raspberry Pi 5. Uh, because I'm a security guy, I always uh, think twice before i click something As you can see these are all advertisement my goodness yeah so many advertisement running so now do not click anything just think this also nonsense now go to the android 15 you can see aosp android operating system 15 or ta zip and without ta zip uh, so download the first one this one i know you can't see, see it right let me put my picture here. It just pop up. Now you say I'm not a robot. Same. Sometimes it change. So click that button. Now it's downloading. It's downloading. It's 750 MB. So once it download, extract, extract, and write to a SD card and boot it up from your Raspberry Pi 5. That's it. I'm not going to show you how to extract and write to the SD card. Probably you know how to do that. So extract, write to the SD card, plug that SD card to the Raspberry Pi 5 and boot it up. That's it. Because that uh, zip file, only one file, IMG file. So that IMG file need to write to the SD card. So let's jump into that now. Okay, now we can, we are in the Aurora uh, website. This is the where we need to download the APK file. Now you can see the Explorer. So once you click that, it will redirect to the, in the GitHub page. On the right side, you can see releases. Click that releases button. You can see in here, Aurora Store releases. Under releases, you will get the latest version 4.6.2. Probably when you check this video, probably there's a more version. So get the latest version. Now I'm going to ignore all these other file names. What we need to do here is we need to download this file. EK, that means Aurora Store version number 4.6.2.apk file. Just click that. It's going to download. It's a 7.1 MB. It's very fast, super fast. So once you download, just put it to a C drive, create a folder, put into the C drive or in the Linux, put into the folder and keep it there. We'll jump into the 
next part okay next we're going to download the adb tools for windows pc now i'm in the this developer android.com tools release platform tools i'm going to put all these links to my description field so don't worry now in the uh, website just hit this one download sdk platform tools for windows now when you click that you need to uh, i have you need to read the agreements and you need to uh, terms and condition accept the term and condition and download android sdk platform tools for windows just hit that button it's going to download it's 6.4 mb is a zip file so once you get the zip file unzip the folder and i'm going to show you the next step you need to configure the environment variables on windows 11 so let's jump into that now next part is open your system environment variables can see I open already now in here you can see the path button okay edit that path button and you will get another one I'm going to show you in a bit okay now you can see that so what you need to do here is you need to put that path so you download already my recent task you download the platform tools and you unzip you extract that folder I told you to put it into the C path so now what you need to do here is I already put it there you can see in here what you need to do is you just click this new and put that path in here so I'm not going to do that because I already have one so if you do edit you can see just the path copy the path and put it over here that's all you need to do okay now you don't need to do any installing stuff this environment variables just put the path that's only so once you're done we're going to open the CMD and we're going to do some configuration bar. Let's jump into that. Okay, next, jump into your uh, Android operating system running under Raspberry Pi 5. And uh, what you need to do here is go to the settings tab. I'm going to close this stuff. Now go to the settings and find the system. So go to the system and go to the Raspberry Pi settings and make sure you enable this stuff. ADB, SSH, and VNC. Make sure those are enabled. Now you have the IP address. You can see these are the IP address. So that means you have your own IP address to your uh, Raspberry Pi system. Uh, before that, I, I probably I forget to tell you that you need to connect to the Wi-Fi in here. So go to your uh, network and make sure you connect to your Wi-Fi. Or if you have Ethernet connection, plug into that. After that, it will connect it then you go to the system or you can go to about well, let me see where's the about about yeah i saw somewhere in here yeah about tablet and in here you will get your ip address also in here so that's mean if you get ip address that means your raspberry pi 5 that's mean your android system is connect to the internet and you are getting IP address or connect in the local network you are getting IP address next what you need to do is go to the system you don't need to touch anything here just go to the Raspberry Pi settings under here uh, if you have a touch screen you can enable touch screen I don't have a touch screen hopefully someone send me a touch screen I need to and to I need to do some project and no one sending me any touch screen these days so if you go down you use enable adb that's the the tool we download recently for our windows 11 and enable that ssh enable we enable once you enable you will see the ip address in here too so once you're done we're going to jump into our windows 11 box and we're going to install the uh, store apk file let's jump into the windows 11 box okay we jump into our windows 11 box i open a cmd as a administrator local administrator let me right click run as administrator now you can see just hit the windows 32 uh, path now next thing what you need to do here is uh, make sure the first step i told you that the the tools environment variables in the specific path you add it to the environment path next you log into the raspberry pi 5 system and enable all the adp ssh and everything and it's up and running on the background make sure it's running now my 
Android system is running. Okay, I don't have the SD card with me. It's running up there. Now, everything's good. I open the CMD. Now, what you need to do here is uh, make sure get your Raspberry Pi system connect USB cable. Now, think this is my uh, Raspberry Pi 5 system running. Plug a USB cable here and the other end to the PC. So, USB to USB connector. Got it? Raspberry Pi 5 running under Android operating system 15 and you have the IP address and USB connected each other and in the Windows 11 box we download the ADP tools and we configure the environment path and we also download the stuff APK file and it's, all, it's also in the C drive uh, path right that's it now let's do the configuration part now we open the CMD what we need to do here is let's t uh, let's d do the version adb v e r s i o n version so we can see when we type adb version it show me the version that's mean environment path is configured correctly just in case if you don't get this that's mean you have an issue so make sure you go to the environment path and make sure double check you put that path next we need to connect we type adb connect and we're going to type the IP address 192.168.86.68 right connected to my Raspberry Pi system running Android you can see it's connected I don't see other, other anything else it just says connected now we're going to type adb devices okay so list of device attached you can see USB to USB we are connected and showing you nicely now what we need to do is we need to install now remember I told you to download the path of the um, Aurora store so I'm going to the C uh, you can't see it here I'm quickly going to get the path where did I put it okay here so copy as a path I'm going to quickly show you so this is the path so I put I download the Aurora store stk uh, store apk file and create a folder sd on the c drive and i put it to the path now i copy that path so we need that path so just copy that path so what you need to do here is uh we're going to install now to the raspberry pi on the android system we type adb install and now i'm going to put that path now you can see now what it's going to do is the Windows 11 going to install that APK file to your Raspberry Pi system. That means Android system is success. If it's success, that means you are done. You are good. You can install games. You can install the store. Good. If it fails, <laughs> you have to do some troubleshooting. Good. So looks good. Success. I don't have any issues. So what we need to do here is um, successful we going jump into our Android system and if you go to the store it's automatically already installed if not we need to install so uh, let's jump in okay now I'm going to jump into my Android system so once you uh, jump into your Android system when you go here you will see the Aurora store over here so it that means it's perfectly fine you have the store that if you have any issue, issues you can see successful install if you have any issues you can do it manually install the store if you go to the files put that apk somewhere in here grab the sd card put that apk file somewhere in here and manually boot the android operating system and double click and install once you install it will pop up here at Azure store uh, Aurora store okay the first time when you log into Aurora store you will see like this that means you need to log in as a Google or an email now you have two options that's the good thing about this if you don't want to use your Google account and if you don't have one or if you want to prevent you logging from the Google account then you have an anonymous account right so remember this if just in case if some if some games doesn't support Anonymous, probably you need to look in as Google account or Anonymous. So many games I install, everything support Anonymous. So 
just in case if you have issues with the anonymous account probably you can log in logging as a google account and install and play now let's see jump into anonymous i'm going to use the anonymous and you can see do the second part and boom i log in i don't need to use my google account i can use the anonymous account now i can install anything i want awesome so once you click that one you can install any applications or any games or anything you want i guess you can see i just installed some uh, game i want to install this this 1gb my goodness uh, but anyways i'm going to hit that install button so it's going to install and till that install i'm going to play a different game how do i see my games oh okay so you can see all the games i installed here this is the recent one i'm going to into open and let's see Okay, allow he'll come recent to send you notification. Yeah, okay. Okay. Get down and go. I don't know, I'm another game.